artificial intelligence has come a long way in the last few years, but not everyone's a fan of the direction that we're going in. Although some people are becoming more aware of what artificial intelligence is able to accomplish, there's some who are still in the dark about what's going on behind the scenes. It's also doing things that are making people feel a little uneasy. For example, all of those people that you've just seen on the screen aren't real people. They were created within a matter of seconds by a single website. This one website has the ability to create fake visuals, and some have described these creations as being so realistic that it makes them feel uncomfortable. The website is this person does not exist, and within a matter of seconds you can create someone that doesn't exist. The only thing that the user needs to do is refresh the page, and immediately you will have a new face on your screen. The site was created by Philip Wang, a software engineer at Uber. His network takes data from real images and then uses a neural network, and this in turn creates an entirely new face. He said the following, Each time you refresh the site, the network will generate a new facial image from scratch. Most people do not understand how good AIs will be at synthesizing images in the future. Some have expressed their concern though saying that already this algorithm is incredibly advanced, and said that they worry what it's going to be like in the future. Model agencies are even speaking out about these creations, saying that they're taking money away from real people. For example, there are currently synthetic influencers that have millions of followers, and in turn can generate hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in sponsorships. One Oxford researcher said the following about these creations. It's an interesting time we're living in as we are creating our replacements. You don't even need living, breathing humans anymore to bring in extra revenue. Our future is being shaped by artificial intelligence, and whether this is for better or worse, it seems like it's not slowing down anytime soon. One Chinese government media outlet currently has a virtual newsreader who doesn't have a mind of his own, and this has led industry researchers to predict that we will be seeing a lot more of this within the next 10 years. One person said the following, When does this stop though? When do we get to the point where we say this is enough, and if we reach that point will it be too late? To me, I find it unsettling that we have millions of fake profiles and people out there. These profiles are soulless. I think artificial intelligence is moving faster than us, and there will come a point in the not so distant future where we cannot contain it. Another industry expert said that these profiles are based on real people, and there's been examples of when people have found themselves on other websites but can see that their photograph has been changed slightly by the algorithm. This brings up another issue, the fact that people's faces are being used without the owner giving them permission. However, they've said that when you accept the T's and C's on these social media sites, there's not much you can do about it. Tala Lastovic, who leads strategy at Generated Photos, said the following, I think that most models today have some kind of synthetic component, whether they're photoshopped or edited. I think that what we'll see in the next 5-10 to 10 years is really a cross between the real world and the virtual world, so models probably won't exist just singly, they'll be just real or digital. I think that they'll mold together. Stephen Hawking made an interesting comment just before he passed away, saying that without a world government technology will destroy us. The potential threat of technology is not one that Hawking ignored. The fantasy that humans may be able to create such powerful devices, or rather entities is no longer fiction, but rather a not too distant reality, drawing closer and closer each day. In a 2017 interview with the Times, Hawking made comments that a world government of some description would ensure that we're regulating technology. He expressed a belief that the innate aggression that humans biologically have poses a threat of conflict with technology, and that a world government would theoretically be successful in monitoring that, and so preventing threats of nuclear or biological war. 
On the other hand, Hawking had considered the possible political implications of a world government, in acknowledging the opportunity for corruption and tyranny within this political system, and the possibility that it may create more issues than it solves. The threats and dangers posed to us can come in the form of our own instinctive human aggression, which Hawking credits to Darwin's theory of evolution. Our logic and reason can be overshadowed by innate aggression, initially purposeful in survival, but creates a sense of impulsivity that must be regulated. Developments in technology also facilitate the advancements of artificial intelligence, or AI that may become too independent from us. AI that may develop enough power to kill or harm us of course presents physical danger, though Hawking suggests that the problem is not if they become evil or malicious, but instead if they become too successful. If an AI has goals, it will to the best of its ability achieve them, so issues arise when the goals of artificial intelligence and ours fail to coordinate, or as said by Stephen Hawking himself, a super intelligent AI will be extremely good at accomplishing its goals, and if those goals are not aligned with ours, we're in trouble. This cautious attitude regarding artificial intelligence isn't one that Dr. Hawking is alone in holding. Other notable figures within the field, such as Elon Musk, share similar reservations when it comes to the ability of us versus technology, as they view it as a potential risk. The risk of technology outperforming us is an increasingly present one, and not one we can ignore, and perhaps in a more ideal world some have said that the proposition of a world government would seem like the obvious choice, but with the cruel and corrupt potential it brings, we have to ask, do we think one individual can cope with so much influence? So what do you make of these discoveries and announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.